Hi guys, it's me. Uh, so now we're in Instagram. I want you to meet Patricia Susan. Hi, she said. You have such a profound impact on Hugh Jackman's career through your comments, love and support. Say it with me, everyone. Thank you. Text fails to express our gratitude to you. We love you. Hugh Jackman wants you to write to him in person. My name is Patricia Susan, smiley face, and I currently work as his online manager. We know this off by heart because scammers are unoriginal. I said, I'll need proof of that, that you work for him, because that's not likely, is it? Thanks. Thanks for the response, she says. It was rather nice of you, as we both know that Hugh Jackman is too busy to chit-chat on Instagram. His account isn't allowed to respond to unofficial accounts at the moment due to security reasons. That old chestnut. I said, please send proof of your affiliation to him. Thanks. Just stating loudly that you are is not enough, given all the fakes online. I could just say that I'm an agent for Lady Gaga, but that doesn't make it true. Thanks. To which she said... Okay, hold a little for the proof and sent me one of these lovely little funster chats. Hello, says Hugh Jackman. Hello, sir. I hope you're having a great day. Well, yes, I'm having a great day. I have an assignment for you. What would that be, sir? I want you to get in touch with a fan. I came across her in the accounts, uh, uh, comment section. I already sent her username to your email address, video call, miss call, blah, 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 blah. We know this is bullshit because we can all download the app. I said, oh, are you using Funster or some other app? Dear little thing, listen to me. A screenshot. Oh, great. Of an app-generated fake online conversation is not going to cut it, my friend. And if you're actually getting any clients with this, I'll be very surprised. The fact that you're doing the celeb manager thing shows you're new and young. But thanks for the addition to my collection of chats with Hugh. I have enough to make fun t-shirts now. And then, because she didn't get back to me, I said, plus, just FYI, all these real staff are listed on his dot-com website, and darling, you aren't there. Not even on LinkedIn. So make better choices with your life. Maybe you wouldn't have to resort to this nonsense. What do you mean? I'm blocking you, she said. I said, about which part in particular, sweetie? And I said, and that's fine. Good luck, Mughal. And sent laughing emojis, because she vanished. So I just wanted to add that there at the start because I do love my fake funster chats. On to the next. Damn it. Now I want you to meet Instagram user known as Jeff Goldblum. Hello there. Two waving hands. I said, hi there. Courtesy message. I don't communicate with people claiming to be famous unless I know 100% they are real. Thanks. I hope this message finds you well, was his response. I just wanted to use this opportunity to appreciate some of my lucky fans for the love and support they have been showing me in my career and also to know how they feel about my life in general, said no celebrity ever. I said, you sent this, then deleted it, and now re resent it, because he sent exactly the same thing twice and then deleted one. I made a mistake. Why typing? Keyboard error, he said. This Muppet from the last video is still back. I said, there is an edit option built in now, which makes it easier. See, I just edited this. Oh, really? I never knew about that. I'm not good on all those internet stuff. <laughs> I said, interesting, from a fellow Mensa member. What part of the world are you from? Said my fake Jeff Goldblum. I said, apologies, but I'm not starting a conversation with someone who I'm not sure is real at this time. Please see my first reply. Thanks. How do you mean? I said, ugh, you're now the twelfth Jeff to message me. How do you want me to prove to you that you're chatting with your idol? I said, my idol? Oh my god, I think you just proved it, as in proved me right. You know that nobody speaks that way, right? Not a single celebrity. And in response to, sigh, you are now the 12th Jeff, he says, fuck, this is the same complaint I've been receiving from my management and fans as well. The imposter rate with my name these days is very high and uncalled for, uncalled for, understatement of the century. I said, sure, sure, cue the scripted indi indignation. Not only do I know why they pretend to be me, crying face, crying face, he said, not reading properly while this guy is persistent. I said, it would be so easy to prove, but you muggles can't, so you won't. 
And in response to not only do I know why they pretend to be me, I said, and your English is slipping for someone who's meant to be a genius. You posted every single picture 14 hours ago on an old profile. Tisk tisk. I asked a member of my band to create this account for me to reach out to my fans. And if you don't do, don't buy that, that it's up to you. God, sorry. I just hope you keep being a good fan, he said. Bye. So I knew he'd had enough. And I thought, what band is that? I said, you know Jeff is a movie star, right? And only a part-time musician. You're an amateur. Get a job, Mughal. Which he saw and blocked me. Because I know the account has not been taken down. He's just blocked me from seeing it. Oh, well, on to the next. I want to see what this guy from the last video wants to. I might do an entire one about AI. Now I want you to meet a very triggered Eric Clapton. Hello! I've seen quite your amazing likes and comments on my official page. Thank you so much for the love and support, dot, dot, dot. I'm so glad I have a fan like you, love heart. I said, I'm sorry, but what likes and comments exactly? I don't think, I don't believe I've liked a single post. How are you doing? He said, trying to ignore that. You've dropped a comment on my post back in 2023. Just got out of my way to show some appreciation. And in response to you've dropped a comment on my post back in 2023, I said, I don't recall this at all. In fact, I think I'll check, which I did. And I didn't post a comment. I think I liked something back in December. <clears throat> to which he says, okay, do you mean you are not my fan? I said, I liked on the 1st of December. No, one like on the 1st of December. That's it. On a Pavarotti song. So how did you find me in that case? It's weird because I never commented. And in response to, do you mean you are not a, my fan? I said, I like some early music, but why would you think I'm a huge fan from one single like once? I can't actually tell, he said, but I don't found it weird that I messaged you. It's supposed to be a thing of joy, you know, he said. <laughs> to which I said, yes, you randomly message me when it's clear I haven't liked uh, at your profile in months. And in response to it's supposed to be a thing of joy, you know, I said, to who? A joy of what? To which he responds, that's your name. And where are you from? Question mark on my account that has my name on it. I said, a random dude messaging me saying things that aren't correct? Question mark, question mark. And in response to that's your name and where are you from? I just went, yeah, Julia from Australia, you? And in response to a random dude messaging me saying things that aren't correct, he said, a random dude, you say? And what have I said that's not correct, please? Said our scammer who said not a single thing correct. I said, yes, until I know for sure you're just another random person and that I like and comment on your posts. You only guessed. You didn't know. You just confirmed. I guessed. How did I found you then? To which I responded, so are you sending messages out to people in the hope someone answers? And you might have messaged me under a different profile before. And I think he had. No, I don't do that, said my scammer. Oh, yes, let's do this. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello there, James William from Pennsylvania. With the goddamn oh, AI. Doing? Why are you using an AI? Yeah. Why are you using an AI to chat and then lying about who you are? I'm not lying about who You I'm are not. West African. You've got a Nigerian accent. You're sitting there telling me in the chat you are not, that you're James William, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. a man uh, from right, Philade right, Philadelphia. Down, calm down. No. Right. I said, calm I, down. I don't fucking like being lied to. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're not. You're sorry that you got busted using a bullshit AI. You know you've got comments on your profile from some of your clients that you've fucking stolen from. You know that, right? Can you, can you, can you, can you please calm down? Why? Why should I calm down? Because I am going to sit know, there yeah, and go, I, I, yeah, I love yeah, it that people lie to me. I can explain. Go on. I'm all ears. Calm down. Okay. I'm calm. Explain it to me, please. I'm waiting. 
All right, um, can we be friends? Please explain it as you stated. I'm waiting. Yeah, before I before before I start to explain, can we be friends? There are no conditions that you have any right to lay down, Mister. You either explain yourself or you get the fuck off my phone. Uh, there are your choices, uh, my buddy. Uh, uh, there's, uh, it just has to answer so much questions. You have no conditions that you have any right to lay. You wanted to uh, explain, you, you just, bloody uh, do it. Hello, if you are not ready to listen to me, then cut off the call. All right. Okay, then. Goodbye, scammer. <laughs> That's a bit of a bonus, guys. Sorry. Um, I'm going to have to continue this chat, this other one now. Hey, all right. My apologies, guys. Returning to Eric Clapton. I said, so you saw my like back in December then, huh? Among like 300 others. Well, I'm sorry of it feels weird to you. It's not possible, he said in response to the 300 others. I said, how do you don't, uh, how you don't see that it's weird is weird to me. And it's not possible. I said, it's unlikely. To which he said, so sorry. I said, I think you've sent out tons of messages in the hope someone replied. Come on, why are you saying all that moreover? I don't have that time at all, he said. To which I went, uh-huh. I'm a very busy man, he declares. I said, sure, sure. But you are a fan of music? I said, generally, yes. Who isn't? Have you listened to any of my songs, he said. I said, the early stuff. So you mean recently you are not a fan? You don't follow me anymore and don't listen to my new release, he said, question mark, heartbreaking. To which I said, no, I haven't heard any of the new stuff for decades. I follow the account because I just do. What's your latest album called and what's your latest song release? Always on my mind, he said. I said, isn't that a remake of an old song? Don't you have any new stuff? Working on new songs and will be released soon, said Eric Clapton. And do you know I'm on tour by uh, to Mexico by October? I said, I don't think you've done anything new in ages and ages. And I had no idea around his touring. You don't like me, it's very obvious, said our perceptive scammer. It's too obvious that you don't like me. I said, stating a fact, I believe. You couldn't tell me what you'd done either right? I don't understand. I said, it's not a diss. Many older singers, singers don't make new music. And in response to I don't understand, I said, no, it's clear you don't. It's not easy, he laments around older singers not making music. I said, nobody says it is. So are you saying you don't know me right? I said, but don't blame me for not listening to music that you haven't released. You haven't heard about Eric Clapton, he tries. I said, because I haven't heard music you haven't released. That's nuts. And in response to don't blame me for not listening to music you haven't released, he says, yeah, I don't blame anyone for it. You can go stream my new songs. I said, yes, you got offended because I hadn't heard your latest music, which you haven't made. They are all on all platforms, his response was. I said, what songs? I know your old songs. What new songs? To which he shows me again, always on my mind, question mark, question mark, question mark. To which I said a remake of an old song. Are you married? He hastily puts in. I said, very old. We'd cross-posted. And in response to are you married, I said, no, unlike you, because Eric Clapton's married to a very young lady. I'm so interested in knowing you more. I want to know more about you. Just don't have much time here to talk. Can we talk on a messaging app? I said, I'm happy to stay here. One app is the same as another with regards to time. I don't move unless I know the person. And around him wanting to know more about me, I said, I don't think your, my, uh, your wife, uh, I think your wife might object. I don't mess with married men. But you can know me if you don't give me a chance, he nonsensically puts in. I said, I don't mess with married men. No one wants to mess with you. Come on, said my scammer wanting to mess with me. I said, it's disgusting and disrespectful to your wife. If you stay here, it's less disgusting. You're almost 80, dude. Thank you, he said. I said, how welcome you are. 
a blessing in response to being 80. I said, if you say so. I said, you're old enough to be my grandfather. And yes, age matters. Glad you know this, but you can't stand someone trying to discourage your grandfather, was his logic, I don't know. To which I said, he's dead and you're married. Okay. I said, it's skeevy. I said, you want to chat, stay on here. I'm not chatting with someone's husband on a private app. I am not even saying anything bad to you yet. To which I said, yet? Wow, you're a real peach, aren't you? You are just hot-tempered and it not good and even trying to talk my profession down is so bad, said my triggered scammer. And in response to him being a real peach, he goes, whatever. I said, what? Please type something legible. I just wanted to appreciate you for support and love. I said, you muggles need to work on your English before trying this nonsense. And in response to I just wanted to appreciate you for support and love, I said, sure. And he blocked me because I then went to go, my wallet thanks you. So he blocked me and he was taken down. Oh, this guy. I'll be back. So because we had that nice little phone call in the middle... Go and watch the previous video if you haven't seen it with our William, right? Uh, James William on Facebook. He's now gone and blocked me. So I'm just going to read the the last of the chat so I don't have to make a separate part two. And I'll least, uh, leave the last two scammers I have on Instagram and I'll make another video. So we'd left off where he told me around the earth revolving around the sun. And I'd gone into a paragraph here, if you insist on trotting out the AI, I'm going. You're terrible at this and you'll never make any money. Goodbye. To which he returns, I'm sorry if I haven't met your expectations, but I'm here to help and have a conversation with you. You're too ha to be friend with, sad eye, sad eye, giving up the AI and finally coming back. I said, what does ha mean? It is in English. And why would I want to be friends with an AI chat friend? I have Siri if I wanted to talk with a computer. And to which he responds with, Why are you asking too much question? I don't have an American access, okay? You can call me if that's what you want and I will pick up the call for some minutes. Dot, 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 dot. Contrary to the start of the conversation. <laughs> To which I said, you told me you were an American and that you couldn't call. So your whole profile's fake and where you come from. Everything. That poor girl was right. And I showed him where he said, I'm James William. I'm from the United States. I live in Pennsylvania. Right? Uh, to which we had the phone conversation, which you heard. Hello. I said, what do you want? You're a liar and a scammer. Every word out of your mouth is lies, so go away. Calm down, he said. I want to be your friend and I'm willing to tell you who I'm and uh, where I'm from. Are you ready to be my good friend? Dot, 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 question mark. I said, no. You're a Nigerian scammer who begs for money online. All right, thanks. I said, make better choices with your life, Mughal. And in response to you're a Nigerian scammer who begs for money online, he said, point of correction, I don't scam anyone or beg money online. I said, ah, yes, you guys call it hustling. No difference. Your father, he said, misspelling your. To which I said, you lie for remittance. And in response to your father, I said, you're an idiot fool. Like you, idiot, he said. And I went scammer triggered, but he had enough and blocked me. And apologies for that phone call. That was a friend from work. Um, I'm no good at editing. So all of this jumbled nonsense is going to stay in. And because it's quite long now, I'll do... Ah, bugger it. I'll do them all at once. Now I want you to meet Gerard Butler. Hello, and thank you for the support and likes on my page. This private account serves as a special connection with genuine fans. Out of the 100,000 messages on my official account, you've been, full stop, randomly chosen for my heartfelt gratitude. Wishing you the very best. Stay safe and take care. Love heart, Rose. I said, what message is that exactly, please? Hi, thanks for following my fan page, he comes back. I really appreciate your love and support always, completely nonsensically. I said, sure, insert paragraph here. 
To which my scammer responds with, Supporting my dream and career, I will continue to always make you have a reason to smile. I'm a very simple man, but at the same time deep and complicated with my thoughts, easy going with people that are not picky, open minded, very honest sometimes more than it should be. Trotting out the usual bullshit. I said, awesome. Insert paragraph here, words, 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 words. To which he responds with a profound okay. I said, oh, are you done with the copy-paste scripted paragraphs then? To which he puts a question mark. I said, well, nothing you've written so far is original or anything I've not read before with hundreds like you. How effective are you? He said. I said, in spotting fakes? I'm awesome in that because it's so damn predictable and unoriginal. I don't do copy and paste, said my scammer, who copy pasted. I said, well, you might want to start. It'll help your English. Oh, he said. I said, yep. Let started, said my scammer. I said, started what? You going to help me with English? I said, oh, sweetie, I'm not helping you become a better and more successful scammer. I actually have a job, so I don't need to hustle online for measly gift cards. Badly, I might add. I take it you're an amateur and not having any success getting clients. I don't do such. Where are you from? He asks. I said, "Uh aha, so you're just pretending to be famous for shits and giggles then, huh? Please, I don't, he said. I said, you don't what? Enunciate it. Uh Uh-huh, he said. May I know your intuitions? (laughs) I said, why are you pretending to be famous? Famous is my goal, he said. I said, you know you hurt the actor you're using and the people you fool. I don't, said my scammer. I said, yes, you do. I don't fool anyone, please. Being completely truthful for once. Where are you from? I said, well, I'm sure you don't fool anyone. You're not good at this. Yes, of course. Juliana, he says. I said, yes, of course. What exactly? You'll never be famous by pretending. You need to create, not lie. Lie to whom? I said, you lied to me. I don't, please, said our scammer who lied and pretended to be Gerard Butler. Lots and lots of crying emojis, which no mature man would ever send. I said, you told me you were Gerard Butler. You're trying to find clients. You might as well admit it now. What's client? Said my scammer at a last ditch grasp. Hope of convincing me that he wasn't a scammer. I said, oh, for fuck's sake, you're now just being stupid. Just stop. I know who you are, what you are and what you do. Please be guided. Whatever that means. I said, please stop lying and stealing, but I doubt you ever will. Which he then didn't come back with. Account still up. So we'll see. On to the last one. This one's short, but it could be ongoing. I don't know. Meet Robert Downey Jr. Hello, adorable fan. Thanks for the endless care and support. Kisses from me to you. Mwah. I said, sure. That's an ama- That's so amazing from you. And I hope you love my movies. If yes, tell me the one you love best. Question mark. Said our scammer who didn't read. I said, what's so amazing of me, please? The love and support you have shown me. Now, I do follow Robert Downey Jr., but I don't comment and like, and I don't actually like uh, his films. I said, oh, okay, if you say so. So what's your favourite movies? Said our scammer. So I thought, all right, we'll see. I said, I like musicals, so Les Mis and Phantom are my favourite. And Gone with the Wind is a classic. And our idiot scammer went, nice, hope I do inspire you with my movie, so what is your name? He had no idea what Robert Downey Jr. was in or what he wasn't in. I said, yes, you inspired me in Gone with the Wind so much. My name is Julia. Wow, he said, you do have a lovely name and it's my pleasure meeting you. I said, sure, insert paragraph here. To which he responds, where are you chatting from? I said, Ank Morpork in the Tasman Sea. You? Malibu, California. I said, cool, nice place. It's always a huge pleasure having time with my fans, most especially whenever I'm in my free time, he tells me. I said, sure, free is good. In custody, bad. 
And I guess you went to bed then. Well, it is very late over there, LOL. And it was at the time. So he comes back last night. I know you are so excited chatting with me. I would really love to meet you in person. And how often do you get to watch my movies? To which I said, said no celebrity ever, dot, 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 dot. I can watch any movie I like whenever I like because of a wonderful invention called streaming. I watched Les Mis again just recently, and I did. Oh, nice, he said, guessing you are married with kids, right? I said, no, unlike you, LOL. I'm sure she was very proud at the Golden Globes. To which his response was, you are more likely to be the nicest fan I have met in years. I said, sure, and I dreamed a dream of times gone by when hopes were high and life worth living, don't you agree? Seeing if he would spot the Lamy's reference, which of course he wouldn't because he's about 12. Yes, I do, he agrees. I will love to keep communication with you. I said, isn't that what we're doing now or is, or is this all a break in reality and I'm only imagining it? That could be the case, of course, dot, dot, dot. Why do you not have any posts, but the account is over seven years old, I wonder? And in response to, isn't that what we are doing now, or is this all a break in reality? His response said, are you on WhatsApp? And in response to, why do you not have any posts? This is a private account I created to get to know my fans personally. And in response to, are you not on WhatsApp? I said, only with family and friends. And to it being a private account and created to get to know his fans, I said in 2017, because that was the creation date of the account. And in response to me only being uh, on WhatsApp with family and friends, okay, he said, we can communicate over there if you don't mind. And yes, to 2017. So which I responded to, but I do mind. I just told you it's only for friends and family, not people I meet online randomly. Okay, said our defeatist scammer. I said, courtesy compels me to inform you that I've reported this account for what it is to Instagram, which he saw and hasn't come back and Instagram hasn't taken down. So this video is a complete mess and I'm going to say so. I apologize for that, guys. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. What an absolute soup of a video it is. Again, I hope you get some sense and enjoyment out of it. See the last one to find out about James William. Um, and, yeah, there is more coming. I've got some uh, Google chat uh, conversations coming. So have a great day, guys. Talk to you guys later. Bye.